Hi everyone, today's video is going to be all about how to feed your guinea pigs a natural diet. Now I'm sure you're all aware that I feed my guinea pigs a very natural diet and I like to mimic their diet as close as possible to what they would be eating in the wild. Now I know that guinea pigs in the wild look very different to our domesticated guinea pigs. So the important thing to remember is that their digestive systems still work in the same way. Therefore I feel as though it's important to try and incorporate natural foods into your guinea pig's diet as much as possible. The healthiest food for guinea pigs is a variation of meadow plants and grasses. Guinea pigs can obtain virtually all the nutrients they need from a variety of grasses and meadow plants. If you live in a more rural area, you can collect forage from woods, footpaths, etc. But avoid forage possibly contaminated by dog urine feces or car exhaust. Alternatively, you can grow your own plants in your garden or balcony. Grass is very beneficial to a guinea pig's health. It can either be collected from different places or you can let your guinea pigs free graze in a secure run inside your garden. Guinea pigs have a thin stomach and a long intestine which does not have a peristalsis. This means that they should be eating around 60 to 80 meals every day. Some benefits of feeding grass include keeping their intestines in momentum and it also promotes the abrasion of their teeth. Their teeth are open rooted so are constantly growing so they require fibrous abrasive food to keep them worn down. Vegetables are a very important part of your guinea pig's diet. You should aim for a minimum of five varieties daily to ensure they are getting enough vitamins and minerals. Ideally offer at least two separate feedings to help prevent digestive problems and don't feed vegetables straight out of the fridge. It is recommended to feed at least 10% of their body weight in vegetables daily. For example, if they weigh 1000 grams, you should aim to feed at least 100 grams of vegetables. Currently, I do not feed this much as I have been replacing vegetables with grasses and meadow plants for the warmer months. Guinea pigs cannot produce vitamin C themselves, so require high vitamin C containing veg regularly. This can include peppers, fennel, broccoli and kale. Fruit can be fed as a treat one to two times a week. More detailed information about fruit can be found on my website. Herbs are a very healthy addition to their diet and most have healing effects which can be used as remedies for health problems. Herbs can be purchased at supermarkets or garden centres. Branches are a great supplement for your guinea pigs. In general, my guinea pigs receive branches on a weekly basis.
They help to wear down their teeth and contain useful nutrients. Branches you can feed regularly include hazel and apple. The hazelnuts should be removed before feeding. I also recommend removing apples from the branches if they are not yet ripe and safe to eat. I recently made a seed mixture for my guinea pigs, consisting of linseed, sunflower seed and fennel seed. I give each of my guinea pigs one teaspoon of this mixture each week. This mixture is a useful supplement containing valuable fats and proteins which can prevent fatty acid deficiency and improve their overall health. Useful supplements include pea flakes, which are easily digested and contain vital minerals and amino acids. One pea flake daily per guinea pig is enough, as they are very fattening. So thanks for watching this video, I hope that you found it useful and maybe you've been inspired by that. So if you want to do any more research into this natural diet, you can find the link below, which will link you to my website and then you can find out more about feeding your guinea pigs naturally. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye!